As we all cope with COVID-19, getting outside is one of the few things that we are able and encouraged to do under the stay at home order. But for a lot of children, this time of year also signals the beginning of common health issues like spring allergies. So we have Dr. Gigi Chawla, Chief of General Pediatrics at Children's Minnesota here to talk about how families can deal with those allergies during COVID-19. Dr. Gigi, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me again. So can we just start with, I mean, anytime, I know I feel this way, I've talked to other friends, you have a cough, a sniffle, something, you think, oh my goodness, do I have COVID? Uh, can we just start with the difference between what the symptoms of COVID would be and what the symptoms of allergies would be? Right. Well, um, you know, I think the first point is that sometimes the symptoms for children can be very different than the symptoms for adults. The symptoms for adults, I think we're all aware, are cough, shortness of breath, um, and fever. And for, for kids, that may look very different. It might just be a little bit of some congestion. It might be nothing altogether. They may progress on to have cough and more cold-like symptoms um, and progress you know, further, but, but that is a, a rare situation for kids. For, for anyone with allergies, I think the difference here with allergies is you get a profuse runny nose and very itchy eyes, kind of itchy, itchy watery eyes, and a lot of nasal drip and sneezing. And those aren't the symptoms that you'll see with COVID. Okay. This can be hard, especially for little kids this time of year, uh, just even going outside. What are some of the best ways that families can help manage these allergies, even treat them? Yeah. Well, first of all, we, we want kids to all get outside and to run around and enjoy um, as much as they can, especially with the weather turning like this. We expect that the, you know, the top allergens really are gonna be mold uh, since the snow has melted, pollens from the trees now, and then the grasses all um, starting to bloom. And so with that in mind, you know, anything that um, has a lot of wind that's going on can, can um, aerosolize all of that and make it um, more problematic for those of us with um, seasonal allergies. So really pay attention to those uh, pollen counts. Make sure that uh, the doors and windows are shut during times um, of, of uh, you know, some of those peak times. And then if your kids are gonna be out and about, um, even despite all of those things, then when they come inside, maybe give them a quick shower to get all of those allergens off them. Mm -hmm. There are definitely medications that you can use over the counter. Mm -hmm. Medications like diphenhydramine, which is Benadryl, can be very helpful. Mm -hmm. And do you have to use them over an extended period of time? This isn't just a one-shot thing. Yeah, you can use it during on the days that are, are most troubling. Um, and you know, if need be, please call into uh, your clinician. We can talk about whether or not nasal sprays or even allergy shots or things like that could be useful. Um, and uh, you know, we've set up our clinics to make sure that we can accomplish accommodate those types of visits. Mm -hmm. What about allergies triggering other health problems? Yeah, I think this is the biggest concern for us at this season is that, you know, allergies, despite it being really more annoying than anything else, um, the thing that it can trigger, of course, for people who um, are at risk is asthma symptoms. Asthma mm -hmm. symptoms with difficulty breathing um, and, uh, you know, cough and those things could be um, a concern at this time also. So really keep a close eye for people with asthma that you've got your medications on hand. Reach out to your clinicians and get those prescriptions refilled. Dig them out of the cupboards right. and, <laughs> and make sure that you still have your spacers so that you're using your asthma medications um, well. And if you have any concerns, mm -hmm. reach out to your clinician. It's kind of the perfect opportunity right. mm -hmm. to get all of that set and ready and to even think about telehealth visits to accomplish that. Sounds good, Dr. Gigi. Thanks so much. We really appreciate your